so sick of it Run up in your crib just for the sake of sticking it Yeah, I'm ridiculous I know this is Kanye's track, but I'm kissing this I'm still laughing at these cats like I'm ticklish Just something about that shit, I like flipping it The world's back on my dick, I'm Mike Vickin' it Something I always find interesting when it comes to me and various people around the manosphere is I tend to have a different stance or a very neutral stance on anything or I have a devil may care attitude to various things or various topics or anything that come up for the most part. Um, and what I mean by that is I tend to be more realistic versus idealistic, idealist, idealistic. I can't say that word, whatever the fuck that word is, idealistic. So I tend to be more realistic about things because I typically look at things in the simplest forms. And, and this is usually how I look at things. Well, this is always how I look at things. Did the person do anything to me or was I affected by what they did negatively? Nope. Um, did they pull an angry MGTOW? No, I don't give a fuck. That's typically how I look at things. And people can get mad at me all they want to, but at the end of the day, that's how I look at things. Was I affected? If the answer is no, I don't care. Did they pull a angry MGTOW and shoot at everybody on the way out the door? No? Okay, I don't give a fuck. And that's typically how I look at a lot of situations and everything that happens, let it be... A person doing this or a person say they're doing this but they're doing that over here and stuff along the lines of that and this is typically why I always say that sometimes you got to look at things you got to you got to be able to look at things with an open mind and realize the psychology of people for you to realize that not everything is cracked out to be or not everything is truthful or that person's not being truthful one minute you're telling half truths, and one minute you're you're telling this 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 thing. Next minute you're telling half truths, and next minute you're saying you're denying this shit for the most part. So, this is what I talk about when I say consistency is key when it comes to me following people. If you can't be consistent, then I don't care. And that's typically how I look at things. And like then people will say, well, they made suspect videos or they made um questionable videos. Hell, I've made questionable videos because of subscriber requests does that make me a mean person or does that make me a, a not so trustworthy person no it's a subscriber request i may not like it i mean when i get the request i look at it and go the fuck's your problem then i go okay challenge accepted that's typically how i look at subscriber requests for the most part i look at it like the fuck's this person's problem does he did, did he watch my channel did, did this person watch my fucking channel but then I go on and say, oh, fuck it. Challenge accepted. And that's typically how I look at things. Every time I get a subscriber request, I look at it as a challenge, a challenge basically, and me taking on the challenge. So if you were to come at me with something like um, anything, I don't care what it is, whatever the problem is, whatever the, the new thing is now, like um, apparently the thing now is Mystery Leap. I look at it like this. Did he do anything to me personally? No? No, I don't care. Did he pull a angry money? Did he put an angry MGTOW or ang a angry money MGTOW, wherever the fuck his name is? No, no, I don't give a fuck. And what I mean by that? Did he shoot at every? Did he shoot at everybody in the back on his way out the door? Or dunk on everybody on his way out the door? No. So I don't give a fuck what he does. If it didn't affect me personally, if it don't affect my pay, it ain't. If it doesn't affect my pay, don't let it affect your day, basically. That's typically how I look at things. But we have a lot of people that get caught up in this whole entire... squabble or whole entire drama. Like, they want to be attached to the drama and stuff like that. And it's like, dude, why? Why? And the problem what I have with that is... I tend to want to ask people... If that bothers you so much... then are you really going your own way? Or or if that bothered you that much for you to make a statement about it? Or did it, if it bothered you that much to want to 
try to get everybody else to think like you? Did you really leave the plantation? And that's typically how I look at things. I don't care who the person is. As long as the person doesn't do me wrong, personally, I don't care. I don't care. I'm a neutral person. So you're not going to like when I actually respond to stuff because I'm a neutral person and I don't care. Because I always look at it like this. Was I affected? Or did the person do anything to me? No? Fuck it. Don't care. And that's how people need to be and that's how people need to think. Because the sad part about that, this same shit, the same way of thinking, is the reason why a lot of people are stuck on the plantation. And can never leave the plantation because they're so chained. They're chained by their emotions and their feelings, basically. Like, I look at it like this. Did that person help you? Then that's all that fucking matters. Um, or another good example of that. Did that person have a good message? So, if, if where you are right now is based on that person... Or you have a second thoughts and thinking about going back to the plantation? Then I'm going to need you to shut the fuck up and accept the shit for the most part. And that's typically how I feel about a lot of the things. It don't matter who you are. It don't Because, like, at the end of the day, what I have a problem with a lot of people when they say, well, Tico, uh, you shouldn't like this person because this, that, and the other. Or this person's this, that, and the other. Or if this person... Because I had a comment in my comment section last night after my one video saying, well, they were talking about Hammerhand. And I go, I look at it like this. I don't care if as long as he does nothing to me I don't care and the sad part about the, the argument was if you if you if you don't if you do something that he disagrees with he'll he'll make he'll he'll he'll, he'll, he'll make an enemy of you okay I don't care I'm pretty sure there's a lot of shit that me and Hammerhand disagree on at the end of the day it's all about did he, did he do me wrong or did he not do me wrong does he respect me or does he not respect me and if the answer is Yes, he respects me, and if the answer is no, he didn't do me wrong, I don't give a fuck. So I look at it like this. If if you can, as long as you give me respect, I will give you respect. The minute you stop giving me respect, then I'm going to have to write you off. That's typically how I look at it. That's pretty much how I think, because I'm not fin to jump on a bandwagon of feelings over some bullshit, basically. So I look at it like this. I don't give a fuck who you are. At the end of the day, is can we make this content together? I don't give a fuck who you are. Can we make this content together? And that's typically how I think. And this is the problem that a lot of men have. And a lot of people have. When they let shit go. To their minds. Or when they let shit bother them this much. I tend to sit there and look at them like. Okay so did you really leave the plantation? Obviously you're still chained to the plantation by emotion. And obviously you never left the plantation. Are you still going through Red Pill Rage? If you say no, then obviously you're still going to Red Pill Rage or you're still in the early stages of coming out of it because this bothers you that much that you, you're trying to convince me and or yourself that this person's this bad person. That's typically how I look at it. Like, did he do anything to you wrong? Did he do anything to you wrong personally? Did it, like, affect your pay? Did, did you get fired from your job? Did you get cancel cultured? Did 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 he steal your wife, your girlfriend? Did did he steal your car? Did he burn down your house? Did he kick your dog? Then I don't give a fuck. Then you shouldn't give a fuck at all. And that's typically how I look at life. And and I hate people that always sit up here in my comment section that always says, "Well, Tico this and Tico that." Now, and I always look at them like, "Now, are you trying to convince me, or are you trying to convince yourself?" Because anytime somebody come at me with a, a goofy argument, that's always the case. Are you trying to convince me, or are you trying to convince yourself? That's what I want people to think about. I digress.